You're watching Morning at NTV. I'm Romeo Busiku and this is Morning at NTV. Thank you for staying with us. Now, professional movers give you an easy time to as you relocate. They have the skills and expertise to ensure you have a smooth transfer. Getting a free estimate helps you to know which package you are purchasing. Professional movers are trained to ensure your belongings are handled with a lot of care to avoid any damages. Remember, choosing a moving company also ensures you arrive at your new home in time, so you get time to settle down. And to explain us to us what we should look out for in a moving company, we have Arthur Nabasa from Freeman Movers. Many thanks for joining us, Nabasa. Yes, thank you. First, explain to us what is the Freeman Movers, what do you do, and why would someone be inclined to abandon the traditional way of uh, moving to take on the Freeman Movers? Uh, repeat that for me again. First, talk about the Freeman Movers. Freeman what do you movers, do? Mm. Okay. Uh, Freeman Movers is a professional moving service mm -hmm. for relocating uh, houses and offices. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, we provide uh, convenience to our customers. Uh, moving in, uh, we do the parking, transporting, and organizing in the new house. So mm -hmm. it becomes uh, seamless for, for the person. That is moving, it's not like uh, the old days where you would, uh, people would move at night. <laughs> in the wee hours. <laughs> yes, Call your relatives the and, and they uh, just grab everything by the hands and yes, just move. Yes, yes, So now we come into the market to make it easy. People are busy, they have busy schedules, they are, they are working, so they don't have time to do all these other things for themselves. Mm -hmm. So that's why we, we come in to help them with the moving. Mm -hmm. So let's say I'm moving in March, it's February right now. What mm -hmm. would be the criteria? What, what are the steps I have to follow? Uh, the steps you have to follow, the mm -hmm. most important one is that you have to allow us to come and see the things you have at your house mm -hmm. or even at your office. Mm -hmm. So it's b basing on that that we give you a quotation. Mm -hmm. We know the size of truck that we have to come with, mm -hmm. the number of people, the parking materials to use mm -hmm. and the likes. And then we can plan for you as well for mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. Set a date for you and the quotation. And the new house? Uh, the new house, the new house, the new premises you're going to. Uh, normally we find them um, clean because the traditional way mm. Mm -hmm. when we find, i'm moving find them clean i'll get to this new house mm. clean it on my own mm. come back to the old house mm. wait for the wee hours call some of my relatives grab these things and we start moving <laughs> in the middle of the night relatives so are things, yes. <laughs> they're in trouble okay. so freeman movers mm. you're saying you'll come to my office take a look at some of the stuff uh, that needs to be moved yes, go yes. to my old house mm. and then to the new house do you do some cleaning or do i have to do that on my own oh we can make an arrangement for that, but uh, normally we've been uh, cleaning and after after ourselves, mm -hmm. usually we find the premises because we're not professional uh, cleaners. Mm -hmm. We are professional movers. Mm -hmm. We find the the premises are clean, but if someone needs uh, that assistance as well, we mm -hmm. can give it. How much would that cost me overall? Mm, overall, it depends on the things you have, so that's why we come and do the the pre-move survey. We call it a pre-move survey. Yeah, we come and uh, look at the things and then we can estimate from that. Tell us, mm. when did free movers start? What are some of the challenges we've experienced mm. since you started business? It doesn't seem like it has been a rosy road. Yeah, yeah even as of now, well, there are some few challenges that uh, we are still facing, especially okay, with, the, with the market. Mm -hmm. Yes. Breaking into the market, they have been. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. there have been uh, other players in the market uh, mm -hmm. that we that we respect. Uh, uh, we, sh we may not mention them, but um, yeah, breaking into that market and even the people uh, getting the tradition uh, from the breaking the old tradition. Uh -huh. of, uh, That's what I want to talk about. Why is it so hard to break that tradition? Why are so people inclined to do mm. things the old way? Because it seems like an easy fit. Mm. Just call in the Freeman Movers, mm -hmm. pay them some little money, and that's it. Why wouldn't uh, Ugandans embark on this new paradigm of doing things? Uh, well, they're used to doing it the way, as in, you want to, the privacy maybe. They want to handle their own things their own way. I'm e not sure. Privacy. Sure. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and even then, mm. maybe they are usually afraid of the costs. Because mm -hmm. you see, uh, it's, it's a company, you're dealing with a company. But, mm. well, with the, with the way, you know, we know Ugandans nowadays, mm. is, um, they, they like good things. Mm. And we're here to offer good things. Mm -hmm. So it also is going to come at a, at a good price. Mm -hmm. We are very affordable. Freeman Movers is affordable. Mm. Uh, they provide a lot of convenience to you when you're moving. You can continue doing your other work as the moving is going on. Mm -hmm. mm. So, and uh, are you people reliable? 
we are very liable. Mm -hmm. Our our contacts are always available, and we are very flexible. That's what's mo uh, most important. Mm -hmm. And the time mm -hmm. issue. The timing. What's the difference when it comes to time between the traditional way of doing things and free man movers? Um, will I spend more time with you guys, or will I spend more time with the traditional way of doing things? On average, the entire moving process will take about uh, five, six hours. Five to six hours. Yes, and that is uh, it is uh, the parking. When they come in the morning, they do the parking for you. They load the truck. They offload. They okay. They drive to the other side, and then they offload, and uh, start to set up. Mm. Yes do the everything of the office or the or the house mm -hmm. mm. about tell, six mm -hmm. hours so it is a uh, it's it's a uh, pretty convenient for anyone mm. Mm. And, and whether the client wants to be there or is a uh, is away we can always send them updates and even uh, we are introducing a new system where they're able to track everything from the truck to the whole process just on their phones when they're at uh, when they're at work Mm -hmm. mm. No, if you've never encountered any circumstance whereby you're trying to move a client's merchandise and along the way one of your employees decides, you know what, this TV is so, so, so good for me. <laughs> I'm mm. not going to leave it. Uh, have you ever encountered such issues? No, 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 no. That's not something. So that you're very trustworthy. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. We are trustworthy and um, we've, the, the, the people that we work with, our employees are, are trained and we vet them after a very long period of time. That's why we are able to put them in someone's house. Mm. So in case of anything, you would always, we are always uh, responsible for, mm. for the, our clients' uh, properties. What should be at the back of my mind if I want to move? Before I'm back on moving, what should be at the back of my mind? Mm, before you move, mm, first and foremost, you're supposed to just trust us. We are, we, are, we are professionals mm -hmm. and we are going to do... No, as an individual, mm -hmm. I want to start moving. Mm -hmm. What should I do before embarking on that journey? Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Like uh, preparations, preparations for your, for your yes. move. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, well, uh, we need to know... You would, uh, would have to know if your rent has been cleared where you are. The security situation where yes. I'm going? Mm -hmm. Yes. No, like, like your rent, was, was, uh, we have occasions where someone is, uh, is going to move. Mm -hmm. They have hired us. And uh, they have not yet cleared with the landlord, with the current landlord, and then we have to waste a lot of time there, or we are caught there for, for a long time, mm -hmm. which can be avoided. Then uh, preparing the house that you're moving to, mm -hmm. and uh, what else really? It is mostly that, mostly that, mostly as long as the other places are prepared, uh, we would be having a very clean job. Amazing. Mm. So, what are some of these success stories you can verifiably boast about in like one minute before we wrap up? Um, well, we've managed to, being a Ugandan company, mm. we've uh, managed to meet uh, prominent people that we have been able to work with. I will not be able to mention them as well, but but yes, it is uh, good for you meet new people, you network and. Uh, Make friends, mm -hmm. uh, I would say important friends once in a while. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is January. Many of our young people are still grappling with unemployment. They're looking for something to do. And they're seeing Navasa right here, well-established, mm. free man movers. Mm. Give them a few tips on how, on what they should be, on what they should do if they want to start a company like yours. Uh, a few tips is uh, maybe identify their passion. And, but uh, basically, since you have ideas about mm. the Freeman Movers, give them tips on how you started your own. The tips on how I started my own? Mm -hmm. If I want to start a, I started a moving I company. Yeah, we started our own with uh, a, a group of friends. We mm -hmm. came together as friends. And uh, with some small money, mm -hmm. we were able to start the marketing ourselves. We had uh, a few resources here and there. Mm -hmm. We had uh, a few trucks and... Well, we were able to start, but for anyone else, licensing all those issues, licensing that's uh, like the few money that you can use to, mm -hmm. to to clear that, and then I think you're good to go. We don't have a regulator at the moment, mm -hmm. but uh, going forward, we should be able to be uh, in a body that regulates us. 
Navaso, thank you very much for having made the time to speak to us. I'm yeah. moving in March. We shall be waiting for your call. Let me hold any TV young. TV, your is a company. We are located at uh, a yeah. UCA building. UCA building. UCA building on uh, Kuruma Road, mm. behind Uganda House. Mm. Yes, uh, uh, the room is uh, G18. Okay, thank you very much for having yeah. made the time. Let me link over to my reporter, Stephen Mbide, who is right now in Mbarara, right there for another conversation.